How you doing there? Henry Olson here from Super Simple Guitar and I want to welcome you to this really fun Stapleton, Chris Stapleton parachute lesson. In this lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play the solo line here, this cool little right? I'm going to be showing you how to play that note by note and if you're a member at Super Simple Guitar, I'm also gonna have a tab for that within Super Simple Guitar. You don't have to become a member, but the tabs are for my members. And I'm also gonna be teaching you how to play, of course, the chords. The strumming pattern that works, different kind of things that you could do, like this, for instance. See how I did that? on that D major chord. So little tricks that you can do to make the simple basic chords sound a little bit more interesting. We're gonna be learning all of that in this lesson. So if you like this lesson, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and also if you want my free picture chord book that's gonna teach you all the chords you're ever gonna to need to know, and also it's gonna teach you how to master the fretboard, you can download that by clicking the link either above or below me. All right, let's get into the close up. Play the intro, see you there, bye bye. So welcome to Close Up. So first I'm going to teach you how to play the little solo line and then we're going to get into the chord progression. So it starts off like this. I'm going to start off on the third string, second fret, and I'm going to slide from the second fret into the fourth fret. So that's... And then I'm going to play the second string, third fret. So that's... Okay. And then I'm going to hit that note again and I'm going to do a hammer on to the fifth fret. So all together... Okay, one more time. Then I'm going down to the first string, third fret. Then I'm walking back, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a hammer on from the second to the fourth um, fret on the third string. So really slowly. A little vibrato there. Open fourth string, hammer on, second fret, fourth string, open third string, so that's. Then I'm gonna play this third string a second time, hammer it, so. See that? And then slide into the fourth fret, so. Open third string, hammer, open, fourth fret. And that's where we're going to end it, fourth string, sorry. So, really slow. Okay, and you can play that both times. I just want to keep this nice and simple. All right, so again, if you're a member at Super Simple Guitar, I have a tab for you, and I also have the entire chord chart um, in the lesson page as well. So if you haven't joined Super Simple Guitar yet, think about it, it's only 10 bucks a month, and you also get my entire library with 25 hours of structured courses, okay? All right, so that's the solo line. Practice that a couple of times. Let me play it for you one more time really slowly, and then we're going to move into the chord progression. So one more time here. Just so you can hear it. Okay. And then the chords come in. So it goes like this. The chords are basically an E minor, a G major, a D major, and a C add nine. You can find all of those in my chord book if you don't know them yet, okay? So in some um, uh, charts, I saw people were playing an E minor seven, which you could do too, but I kind of really just like to play the E minor. So E minor, and the string pattern goes like this. So that's down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, really slowly. 
down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. All right, so really slow. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, to the G, to the D, C at nine. So down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, with the next chord. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, right? And then, like I said in the intro, on the D major, I actually like to play a D sus2 instead of the D major, all right? And these are things you can play with. So the D sus2 is the same as the D major, just without your middle finger, all right? So I like to, just before I go into that chord, I, I release my first finger, I hit the notes, and then I do a little hammer on on the second fret, third string. So I, so that's, I did a little, and then I just continued down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and going to that C at nine. Down, 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 up, up, down. And also on that C at nine, what you could do. would be to release your pinky and kind of come back and forth with it. So, right, and these are just little ideas that I'm playing with that I kind of like to experiment with. So again, E minor, an alternative to playing just E minor would be to go E minor with these two fingers and then with these two fingers hold down these two strings. You could do that too, you could go down. Sounds good, it works in lots of songs, it would work in this song too, but again, I prefer just playing the normal E minor. Play around with it, see what your ear likes more, okay? All right, so that's basically what happens in the tune. There's, there's a part where he goes. And then he stays on the D a couple more times, right? So you're gonna wanna check out that chord chart, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, or an ultimate guitar probably for free or if you're a member of super simple guitar I have it linked up for you and there's also this one more cool part that happens in the tune where he goes so that's just the E minor G major D and what you could also do is on the E minor and then when you play the G you could release your first finger right and what that's going to do, but still touch the string, just not apply pressure, okay? And what that's going to do is just make your G major sound a little bit more crunchy. So I'm not applying pressure here. If I apply pressure, now I'm playing that note. Now I'm not playing that note. So it makes it just sound a little bit more compact if you don't apply pressure to this string. So play, a lot, play around with that too. Especially if you're playing with an electric guitar. If you're playing the electric guitar part where he really just goes Okay, then you're really gonna wanna leave this note out by just releasing pressure but still touching it, which is gonna mute it. And then when you go to the D chord, you're really gonna wanna play just the fourth, third, and second string, okay? Especially if you're on electric guitar, because if not, it just gets too muddy with too many notes in there. Right, you want to rather have a little bit more compact sounding D chord. Okay, so that's basically the tune. Again, if you're a member of Super Simple Guitar, if you want to join, it's only 10 a month, plus I have tons of courses in there, structured courses, that you are really gonna learn a lot from, okay? Plus you get all my additional tabs um, and chord charts and everything as a member too, okay? All right, I hope you like this lesson. I hope that all this is making sense and that you're gonna be able to play along and have a great time with this tune. All right, see you in the next lesson. See you there, bye-bye. Thanks for checking out this lesson. Now that you're still here, don't forget to subscribe right there where my finger is. Just hit that button, click on it if you haven't so far. 
And over here, you can see more videos to watch. All right, thanks for watching again. Thanks for subscribing, and I will see you very soon.